The Jezebel spirit took over. It's a Jezebel spirit. Um, read the book of Revelation, chapter number two, verse twenty. Uh, Jesus spoke to the pastor of the church. He said, "I have a few things against thee because I suffered that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess." Jezebel was a wicked woman who had a seducing spirit. So there's a lot of women who say they're prophetess. It's like men say they're prophets, but he go around seducing women. You got preachers go around seducing women. Even though he can preach, but he got a seducing spirit. I just looked on the YouTube and I saw a pastor in Africa. The man was telling women to take off their panties in the church. Right. And he's shaving their hair. You saw that on the YouTube? Now that was the devil. And she, liked it. and she didn't take her panties off of the pastor. The pastor's going to hell along with that one. Now that's a false pastor. So you saw it, didn't you? Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that's an example of a Jezebel. Now here's a pastor telling women to take their panties off in the church. A pastor telling women to take their panties off. And they're going to be stupid enough to take their panties off for the pastor. She and the pastor's going straight to hell. That's a false pastor. See, see, see he's a playboy. But look how they follow these pastors. He has a he, he following the woman breast. And, the Lord told me to lay hands on your chest. And he following the woman's breast. Now I would never put my hands on a woman's yeah. chest. Yeah. That's for the husband to do that, not me. You see, I'm very respectful when I pray for women, right? I don't I don't put my hands on women's private parts and all. Notice God makes a man of God a gentleman. Yeah. Well, he makes him a gentleman. So certain things I just won't do. I don't I don't put my hands on the naughty pastors now. They they lay hands on women's breasts and fall on their breasts and say, so the Lord told me to lay hands on you. God said this is a miracle. He goes, lying prophet, lying prophet, laying hands on women's breasts and all this type of stuff. Ain't no prophet. Got no business laying hands on no woman's breasts. That's a false prophet. He has a seducing. See, these are Jezebel. Those are Jezebel's God we're talking about. So they call themselves prophetess and prophets. But they go around seducing women, seducing men. So now what happened is that uh, many pastors allow these witches to take over the churches. Witches and warlocks taking over the church. They're bringing devil worship up in many churches. See, see, so, so that's why it's so packed because the, the devil would rather be in a church where he know he can do what he want to do. <laughs> so they say, oh, wow, that's, that must be God's church because there's a lot of people there, not necessarily. Because Jesus already warned us that many will follow false prophets. He said many will follow false prophets. So we can't always go by a large crowd. False, we know Jesus drew large crowds. But he was the right one. He's Jesus Christ. But Jesus also warned us that there's going to be a lot of false prophets that's going to draw large crowds. They're going to have a mega church. So they're going to think, wow, that's, that must be God's servant because he draws large crowds. I see, this is where people are being deceived. See? So people are going straight to hell, don't even know it. Don't even know it. Leaders are just leading people straight to hell because of money, prosperity. And these guys on the work, Salama's on the work channel. And they with the Illuminati's. The Illuminati's fund their churches. They, the Illuminati's give money to their churches to keep their churches mega. So those preachers are not allowed to preach against sin. They get told only to preach the, just the goody-goody sermons and make everybody jump and shout, but they're not allowed to preach against sin. They'll preach about marriages and relationships, but I can hear that on the talk show. I can go on the talk show and hear that. I can hear Dr. Fields. I can hear Dr. Field talk about, you know, making marriages work, but they're not talking about Jesus, though. They're not pointing people to repentance, even though they're making marriages work. And this is how the devil deceives uh, you know, just like there was a bishop, they had a show a long time ago called The Preachers of L.A. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Now, I was, uh, Bishop Noah Jones is a known preacher. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised he played it. I was surprised that Bishop Noah Jones they even played that part. They was acting like the pips of L.A. But these are preachers acting like pips. Really? Oh. He played a part of him shacking with a woman. That didn't represent holiness. Now, these are bishops playing a worldly part. He was yeah. playing the part of him shacking with some light-skinned woman. And they're living together, not married. Now, these are bishops, preachers, playing the part like this on the preachers of L.A. That didn't represent holiness. God wasn't pleased with that show. God wasn't in it because it didn't represent holiness. It didn't represent Jesus. That didn't re a bishop shocking with a woman and not married? God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. 
God bless you. These, these, God bless you, brother. So happy to see you today. God is with you. I see a great plan for your life. I see greatness in you, brother. He's going to raise you up. Hallelujah. God bless you, my brother. Happy to see you today. It's good to see brothers praising the Lord. All the time, my brother. Amen. God is good. All the time. He preaching right. I see that's a good brother there. You've been going through a lot, but God's just going to be all right. You love the Lord. Praise God for you, young man. You're going to be preaching the gospel one day. That's the devil gets used people a lot to try to discourage you. I hear say, Lord, this is your year for miracles. This is your year for blessings. God said, forgive yourself. We all make mistakes. God said, he already forgave you. Forgive you. You're somebody special. And God's going to raise you above your enemies. Every enemy that worked against you, every wrong woman that came against you the devil have sent the wrong women to you that wasn't right but the lord said he got the right one god said there's an anointing upon your life Woo! hallelujah you're going to be a man that's going to preach the truth one day because you a warrior hey lord said you a warrior you're a warrior you you one who don't bite your tongue you're a warrior god made you a warrior like that he's going to use that warrior see young men need to be encouraged because sometimes young men don't get enough encouragement so so they walk around depressed and and folk don't know why sometimes you may get angry no it's not that you're a bad person it's yet you've been hurt you've been wounded sometimes the devil sends even the wrong women they come pretty but they're witches because the devil see an anointing upon you like he but he cannot stop your destiny <laughs> hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. No wonder we had to stand here because Lord knew you was coming here today because he wanted us to encourage you today because all this stuff, you've been going through stuff since childhood, but the Lord said you are destined for greatness. Oh, my God. You're going to be one of the greatest men of God that this world has ever seen because you've been there and done that. God said he loves you, my brother. He has not forgot about you. God said your nights are going to be better because you've been having a hard time of sleeping at night because all the pressure and all the stress that have been on you. My Lord say stop the day. You're going to have a peace of mind. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stop the day. God said my peace I give unto thee. That's what God want me to tell you. Go in peace, my brother. We love you, man. God bless you. Shake my brother's hand. God bless you. We love you, brother. You are special, man. No wonder God sent me here today. You're a good man, brother. Nobody's perfect. Only one is perfect is God. But you got a lot of goodness in your heart, brother. Sometimes people don't want to always condemn and always and don't want to never say an encouraging word. They don't never talk about the good that you do. Talk about the good the men are doing now. Every man out here doing wrong. Now, let's talk about the good men. Being a good man don't mean we're perfect because we still make mistakes. But you're a good brother, man. Thanks, man. Love you, man. Love you too, Starting brother, today. Man. I see you writing a book one day. I see God gonna bless you with your own business. He gonna make you the head and not the tail. Woo! I feel Jesus. Hallelujah! God bless you, my brother. You be encouraged, brother. Hallelujah! God is touching you right now. Hallelujah! Let's clap my hand for that young man right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. That's a special young man. He means well. He's very sincere. And one day, a young man gonna be preaching the gospel around the world, and God gonna make him a leader. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Isn't this wonderful? This is what God wants. And God gonna make you a great leader. Ha! Amen. That's right, my brother. Go ahead and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is right here. God is in the